Got my uh, Olympic lifting training in yesterday. Um, you know, I try to hit those once a week as well as, you know, throw them into uh, some conditioning every now and then pretty light. But uh, yesterday was, uh, it was an okay day. Um, worked up to 285 in a snatch and got uh, got smoked by one of them, which is uh, pretty entertaining. I look like I like beep bop booped and twisted out of it like some weird video game character. And then I uh, worked up to uh, 330 or so in the... Um, in the clean, uh, I had an issue with uh, some of the bars at the gym. They're a little bit fatter, and uh, my fat hands with a little bit more aggressive knurling, I couldn't get off the bar to come to a clean rack, which is very little of the balls, bar's problem, but uh, it's mine. So he was training, and uh, all in all, uh, pretty happy with it. So enjoy the, uh, the commentary. So here's a little voiceover for your ass today. Um... So got in to do some snatches, and uh, as typical things are, uh, a little bit beat up from uh, this week's training, but all's good. Uh, hit the numbers I needed to hit today, and uh, even pushed a snatch up for, for two sets, and then I uh, got crushed by one, which would be pretty funny coming up. Um, everything I'm doing still is power snatches. I know I get questions about that, but I've got some mobility issues that don't allow me to be comfortable in the bottom of a snatch, and since... I am not an Olympic weightlifter. By trade, I stick with what works. And uh, what works for me is moving as much weight as I can safely overhead. That's gonna, you know, it's still gonna have to be strong. It's still gonna have to be powerful. You know, at the end of the day, I'm not gonna stress out and spend a bunch of time fixing technique when all I really need is the power built from this lift. Uh, I'm moderately proficient at the lifts. Uh, I can do them in, without being injured, you know, for the most part, and um, that's uh, that's why I do them. Um, you know, another reason I do them, I've explained a lot, is it's you know timing. You know, as an athlete, I want to be able to tell my body when to fire and in what order to fire when I want it to, and I need it to react. Um, but I'm looping some stuff out front. I'm uh, you know sitting on my heels too much in the bottom. There's there's a lot of shit going on that's not great. But so I worked up to 275 here and hit probably five or six singles. I don't know. I think I recorded most of them. And then I uh, decided to be bold and go for 285 and uh, hit the first one um, pretty pretty easily. Um, in a nice mouth agape like a uh, like a pro. And then here's where I get smashed. It uh, just doesn't work. And then down to the shoulders, around, and boop, boop. Pretty successful there, so felt good about my day. It's always good to, uh, you know, now drop back down and hit a couple more singles just for the just for the hell of it. Um, this is at Red Stick CrossFit South. Their other location in Baton Rouge is a great place to come train. I'm glad I get uh, I'm welcomed into places like this. Um, I was there this morning for a seminar Christmas Abbott was doing. Um, she was doing some nutrition stuff with her uh, traveling seminar, and uh, it, it was good information. Um, you know, a lot of stuff for me is I just want to learn as much as I can and learn from anyone willing to talk and work with me. And so today is no different. Um, cleans felt okay. Felt a little sluggish after all the snatches uh, or, you know, everything else I've done this week. Legs are still a little dead. Um, I start having some trouble getting my hands to unrack off the weight. Uh, in the later sets, but that's mostly due to I'm having to pull harder, say here, than I was the sets before, and so my hands are not uh, coming off the bar, and so uh, feels basically terrible with them just staying locked in there on the thumbs. But you know, you do what needs to be done. Um, as soon as it started kind of bothering my elbows, I uh, ditched doing the full cleans and um, went to some straps and did some pulls. Uh, outside of this, I did some handstand walks for some shoulder stability stuff, and then uh, some muscle ups, and that's about it. So check out stuff at thehate.com, and uh, remember the fat owl is watching.